I know what it is you saw. For it is also in my mind. One of the most celebrated actors of her generation has taken on one of the most challenging roles of her career. Kate Blanchett is in conversation with Seth Doan. Should we do this interview in German? Absolutely, we should do it in German. <laughs> Are you conversational at all? No, das ist ja ganze Bundesrepublik. That's what I learned at school. She's mastered and made a career out of the art of transforming herself. In her latest film, Kate Blanchett becomes the conductor of a symphony orchestra in Germany. She wouldn't be running a rehearsal in English, so I have to speak in German. So it was one of those things where it just would have been inauthentic if I'd not. This ambitious role is the latest in a long list. The Australian actress won an Academy Award for her portrayal of Catherine Hepburn in The Aviator. Noble effort. Saw your Scarface picture. Violent. Realistic. Movies are movies, Howard, not life. And she earned the Oscar for Best Actress as an unstable former socialite in Blue Jasmine. Are you out of your mind? She is a teenager, for Christ's sake. She's no pair. She's played a queen, an elf, and Bob Dylan. You know, we all have our own definitions of all those words. You have all these different accents that you can do. They all end up, if I try and replicate them later, like I'm in a call center in New Delhi. <laughs> so they all sound the same. So you, you learn them for a film and then you, they just go? Yeah, I can't do a general something. It has to be really specific and then I forget it. While the roles change, Blanchett's approach is consistent as she makes clear in the film Tar out this week to critical acclaim. See, I start the clock. Now my left hand, it shapes, but my right hand, the second hand, marks time. She plays conductor Lydia Tarr with a signature attention to detail, resulting in yet another character that's nuanced and complex, though she admits it was daunting to conduct an actual orchestra. And just, you know, having to say, okay, I'm gonna give you the downbeat and you have to follow me. Uh so it's, it's, it's Harald there. Ah, uh, sehr gut. Harald, I was just wondering if you might um, uh, quickly rig something up for us. Learning the language of music and how to conduct in a way sounds like it was more difficult than learning the actual language German. I played the piano as a schoolgirl, had schoolgirl German. I had to do a lot of preparation, but. I mean, look, an audience couldn't be less interested in it in an actor's homework because it's like, look how hard I worked. You know, it's like, who cares? But you love the homework. I do. I mean, I found the whole thing fascinating. TAR's screenwriter and director Todd Field says he wrote the part for Blanchett and would not have made the movie if she said no. It's his first film in 15 years. Why did you want only Kate? Um, no one else was available. <laughs> It's clear Blanchett does not always take herself as seriously as others may. I could never have imagined what she brings. I mean, she is... Unbearable, uh, exacting... No, he's actually speechless. <laughs> you know, she started working on this a year out. She was already working on conducting. She was already learning German. She was already learning to play the piano. That's all her, note for note. I've never, ever worked with someone, ever, on a play or anything else that shows up and they know all of it. Everyone's lines, every single piece of scene description. We met the actor at Abbey Road Studios, made famous by the Beatles, where the London Symphony Orchestra was realizing a plot line from the movie. In a way, you're kind of completing what you set up in the film. Exactly. The character Lydia Tarr had been preparing to record Mahler's Fifth Symphony, which this orchestra did as part of a concept album that's being released as a companion to the film. I called Natalie up and said, what's it like? Before they what's shot, Blanchett like? worked with conductor Natalie Murray Beale. It's such a mix of, of skills. Your leader, you, sometimes your, your boss, your interpreter, and you have to be aware of 100 people in a room, um, all working within a system. Blanchett studied how to use the baton, what's called stick technique, and learned how to use the orchestra itself as a sort of instrument. 
you get this amazing electric charge. And in that space, I can understand how some people can think that they're the king or queen of the world. And it's really important that, that you, you allow that, that space to kind of be filled again with humility. And, and I think that's what you witness in the character. It's a provocative film which explores of the moment themes, Me Too and cancel culture. Your character has this interesting mix of appearing very powerful, but also very vulnerable. Yeah, we've all got those dualities in us, don't we? And I think we spend half of our lives, you know, in, in the middle of a confidence trick of pretending we've, we've got our together, when in fact, you know, we don't. The world and being alive is full of nuance and, and grey areas, and I think that that's where the film is really human and really provocative. Do you have self-doubt when you... Yes, right now I'm full that. of it. Yeah, <laughs> no. of course, of course. I mean, that's why, you know, I, I think I probably keep working in a way to try and repair or make good for mistakes and missteps. You've done some pretty spectacular performances. Oh, but I've also done a lot of garbage. For every thing that you do, you think, well, that was all right. There's five pieces of garbage that you put out into the world. I mean, it's, you never know what's going to work. And you also, you never know what's going to connect with an audience. Clearly, she's connected. Neil. But Blanchett, who got her start in the theater, claims being in the limelight does not come naturally. It took me a long time to be comfortable with being looked at. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. But even longer to feel comfortable with being quote unquote famous. In her life away from the spotlight, she's married to playwright Andrew Upton and is a working mom. What are you like as a parent? I'm an excellent mother. <laughs> Just ask my, my four children. I'm, I am extraordinary. No, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. How do you protect that role with the celebrity and all of the pressures that that brings? I really try not to bring my work home. For Blanchett, Gus, the Gus work Gus is a form of escape. I'm not interested in playing myself. I mean, I do that in my everyday life, which is why I go to work, because I bore myself rigid. I don't want to play myself. An escape which showcases her remarkable ability to transform.